The next 25 minutes are the original 34 classical Pilates exercises from Contrology, Joseph Pilates. Um, the last couple weeks, months, classical Pilates apprentices have been practicing the classical method on me, and I have a contemporary background. Um, we've been mostly using the reformer, and I wanted to see what the 34 exercises that Joseph originally put together, how they felt in the order, what has been added in by the certification I have, what the differences are, and to say the least, a lot of these exercises are very advanced, so I'd only recommend this if you are a level three and if you're experienced. You can, of course, skip over things that don't work for you and enjoy. So you're gonna pull your waist into the mat, curl the head, neck, and shoulders up, and float your legs up as well. When you do that, you want your waist to be drawing down and into the mat. You're gonna to start to pump those arms vigorously, breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. We're here for 100 counts. You know, you can do 20, you can do up to 100. Always breathing in through the nose, exhale out through the mouth, vigorously pumping those arms. In for five counts, out for five counts. Keep going, keep breathing, keep the legs as low as you can keep your waist into the mat. Allegedly, Joseph always wanted the legs two inches off the mat. One more cycle of breath, then lower the legs, bring the arms backwards. Then you're gonna to start to roll all the way forward towards your toes, feet are flexed, and then start to roll down bone by bone. We do this three times. Dig your heels into the mat, reach forward towards your toes, beyond your toes, pull the abdominals down, tuck the tailbone under. Last one. Okay, and then you're gonna roll all the way down onto your back for rollover. Legs come together, waist pulls into the mat. Your legs are gonna go up and over, tap the floor behind you, flex the feet, open and separate hip distance and roll down. Legs lower, come together, then up and over. Tap the toes, lift the feet, and then roll down. Constantly push down firmly into your arms. Tap, lift, flex, roll down. Now keep the legs separated as you roll over. Tap the feet, lift the legs, glue the legs together, roll down. Legs on diagonal. Tap the feet, lift, flex, glue them together, roll down. One last time. So you want everything to be fluid, moving continuously. Lower your legs all the way down for one leg circle. Point the right foot, bring it across, swing it down and around, across, down and around. Five times each direction. Anchor that left heel into the mat and anchor your arms and your waist into the mat. Reverse for four. Trying to keep everything as still as possible as you swing that leg. Now scissor switch your legs, other side. Making sure that you're flexing your bottom foot, that leg isn't dead like a noodle on the mat. Three, two, and one, reverse. Last two. And we're gonna use a roll up to transition. So lower the leg, lift your arms, and start to roll all the way up bone by bone, piece by piece. Bend your knees, scoop forward towards your heels, grab your shins, rolling like a ball. Elbows are lifted, abdominals engaged, staring into your abdominals as you rock back and forth. In your brain, you're telling yourself over and over again to pull your hip bones to your face. Okay, noticing if you drop and you hit a flat spot. Then roll all the way down, grab your right shin, straighten the left leg, single leg stretch, you switch and pull. So elbows are lifted, knees pull into your face, other leg reaches long. Keep alternating sides, pointing the toes, Double leg stretch, knees together, reach arms and legs away from your waist, circle around, grab your shins, reaching out. This whole time your tailbone stays connected to the mat, you're pulling your sternum towards your thighs. Okay, a few more. Reach out, pulling in. And last one, hug your knees, rock yourself up, spine stretch forward. Flex the feet, open shoulder distance apart. Place your fingertips on the mat firmly in front of you. Start to lift the waist and round and stretch forward and then roll up. 
So you're gonna press down into your hands, let them kind of skip and skim along the mat. Okay, exhale, press forward, lift the ribs, keep an apricot between the chin and chest. We'll do this a few more times. You wanna think not only about bending forward, but lifting your back ribs away from the back of your pants. Great, now open leg rocker. You're gonna lift your legs, grab your ankles, and hold firmly, straight arms. Tuck the tail, roll back to shoulder blades, and rock up. If this doesn't work for you, you can repeat rolling like a ball, or you can simply just balance and hold. Be very mindful you don't roll onto your neck. You can see every, every rep I kind of try something new. Lately a revelation has been my arms are an extension of my back and to really plug my arms into my back. Close the legs, roll all the way down. All right, now lifting the legs up and over, then lift to the ceiling for corkscrew. So you're gonna roll down the right side of your spine up and over to the left. Legs go center, left side, roll down. Center, up, slightly right. So you're alternating sides. Your arms press down firmly. And it's merely an illusion. It just feels like you're rolling down one side of your spine and up the next, but your pelvis isn't really twisting in order to do that. Once you're even on each side, I always get lost and I have to focus very hard to keep track. You bring the legs to center and you roll all the way down. Hug your knees to your chest and then rock yourself up for saw. Flex the feet, open legs, shoulder distance. You twist to the right, reach the left finger to the right toes, bend forward, roll up to twist and return center. Twist to the left, reach to the pinky toe, roll up and come to center. This is a very busy exercise. Your arms are reaching out wide, full wingspan. Okay, you're sitting anchored on those sit bones, feet flexed. You can bend the knees a little bit if you're not able to sit up straight and you can also sit up on a block or a riser. Return to center, relax the arms. Roll onto your stomach for swan. Forearms are flat, legs are wider than shoulders. Keep the forearms down for as long as possible as you start to press the heart forward, continuing to lift. Pull your hip bones to your face, bend the elbows, let the elbows touch the mat first, then ribs, then chest, then forehead. Legs are actually pressing down into the mat, hip bones pulling down into the mat. So you wanna keep the lower back as long as possible. Okay, only coming up as high as you feel comfortable. One leg kick, you prop yourself up onto your forearms. Your body's in the same shape as swan. Hover your thigh bones and kick your seat once with the right foot. Sorry, I lied twice with the right foot, twice with the left. Kick, kick, and reach. So as you bend your knee, tell your knee to lift, lift, and reach. And kick, kick, and reach. Kick, kick. Press down firmly into those forearms. Keep the chest open. Okay, last one double leg kick. Place your hands at the small or higher on your back. Legs kick your seat three times. They straighten. You hook the thumbs, lift your chest, turn your head to the other side, place your hands on your back. Kick three, two, one. Press the tops of your feet down for leverage and kick, kick, kick. Press feet down, lift chest open and turn. When you turn your head and you place your hands up as high as you can on your back, you may feel stretch. And kick, kick, pressing down, lifting the chest. That was the last one. And then you're going to press yourself up and back. Take a moment here, round your spine, breathe into your back. All right, rolling up. Having a seat, pull up your pants, fix your hair, neck pull, oh my goodness, hands behind your head, spine is straight, feet are flex, legs together, lean back for as long as you can. Then tuck your tailbone under, roll all the way down onto your back. Now dig your heels into the ground, try to keep your hands behind your head as you roll up. Bend your spine forward and roll up. Now, I've been working on this, this has always been my nemesis, but pushing my head into my hands has been 
the thing that's given me the most success. Secondly, digging my heels into the mat. These are two things that I don't want to do, but I find super helpful. This is a very challenging exercise. Restack the spine. Lean back with a straight back. That was the last one. Roll all the way down. Three is definitely enough. All right, from there, you're gonna bend both of your knees, curl up for scissors. Straighten the legs, flex the feet, lower one leg down, double pulse. Grab above or below your shin, sorry, above or below your knee, and pulse, pulse, switch. Pulse, pulse, switch. Legs are active as they slice through the air. Last one and then bend the knees, hands behind head, bicycle. So you're gonna bring your armpit across towards the thigh. Start to flow once you've got it. Out of the corner of your eye, watch that your pelvis stays absolutely still. Across, across, keep going. Last one on each side. Come back to center, curl even higher, and then relax down. Shoulder bridge, knees are bent, hip distance apart, feet are hip distance apart. Roll your hips up, press your hands down firmly and start to roll down. So this is your first option. You're gonna roll up, bone by bone, and roll down. Moment to recollect yourself, feel your spine. This is the easiest thing that you've done. Now hold. Take your right leg straight up to the ceiling, flex the foot lower halfway down and point and lift about five times. Keeping your pelvis stable, keep yourself standing on your arms and your left foot. About two more, flex lower, point lift. Then you place the foot down, lift the other leg up. And again, flex and lower, point and lift. Again, about five times. Okay, last two. And then last one. And the knee, place the foot down. Adjust what you need to before you roll down. Straighten the legs and start to roll all the way up. Spine twist. Your legs come together, your arms reach to the side. You're sitting straight and tall. You twist, 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 return to center. Other side, twist, twist, twist. So if you feel gripping in your hip flexors, I suggest to sit up on something. You probably know this already. You can also bend your knees. But in your mind, be very busy. Think up, then twist, up, then twist, up, then twist, center. Relax your arms down, sit towards your heels, and then roll all the way down. Jackknife. You're gonna tap your toes, lift them to the ceiling, try to get your legs on top of your hips as you roll down and then again tap lift so this is like you're pushing your feet into a wall so there's actually a lot of work for the back of your legs which took me a long time to discover and I've been working on this okay that's enough of that one bend your knees and roll onto your side for side kick so line your back up with the edge of your mat, hands behind your head and feet at the bottom front corner. Top leg lifts hip height. Two kicks forward and then sweep back hold. Kicking forward, sweep back hold. Energy through the bottom leg, that way leg is working just as hard as the top leg is. Do about eight of these today. Kick, kick and sweep and reach back. So this is one, if you've been doing my videos, this is one I frequently do. All of my clients, most of my clients, do some kind of variation of this. It's a great exercise. One not to be forgotten. Okay, no fancy transition. Just swing your legs over to the other side. Hands behind head. Feet flexed. They're at the front edge of your mat. Top leg just as long as your bottom leg. Top leg lifts and kicks forward twice. And sweep, reach back. Kick, kick. So directly compare how this side feels different from the first side. Okay, about two or three more, depending on your speed. Just making sure that you're consistent and even with the other side. Again, about eight in total. All right, you're gonna push yourself up, swing your legs around. 
Teaser, scoop back, roll off your sit bones, lift your legs either to tabletop or diagonal, arms reach up towards your toes, you roll halfway down all the way up. Okay, my huge trick with this here is bring your toes apart, your heels together, and anchor, squeeze your heels together, that will get your glutes to engage. Second tip, arm bones stay at the same height as your legs. Feet come down, it's over. All right, so I screw up my transition a bit here. This is hip twist with straight arms. So you might have to set your arms like I did a little bit further back behind you. Your lower abdominals are scooped, your chest is open. So you're in that teaser spine still, but now you're gonna draw circles with your legs, going one leg, one direction, and then the other. Holy moly, relax, flip onto your stomach for swimming. Feet hip distance, arms shoulder distance. I'm peeking so you can take a break. Reach your arms straight ahead. Hover your arms, your legs, everything off the mat and start to flutter, breathing in through the nose. Exhale out through the mouth, bringing that awareness back to your breath. So you're about, you know, just over 15 minutes. So it's a good time to call upon that hundreds breath again. One more cycle and then push back. Just a second to stretch your back before you come forward to a plank for leg pull front. You're going to point the toe, shift back, lower it down. Lift, shift back, shift front, lower down. Lift, shift back, front, lower down. If you don't wanna do the little leg lifting, you can also just shift forward and back on your toes. Lift, shift, and place it down. Lift, shift, and place it down. Okay, so now we're going to transition into leg pull. So you can just simply put your butt down, turn around, place your hands behind you. Your fingertips are going to be facing forward. You're tucking the tailbone under, scoop and lift up. So you're in a diagonal line. And then again, tuck the tail, lift hips. So this is option number one. Option two, to stay and hold, kick right leg up twice and left leg up twice. Again, kick, kick. So being sure that you feel this in the back of your seat, not in the back of your knee. Okay, incredibly hard to contract the hamstrings while they are straight. Side kick kneeling. So stand on your knees with one leg straight out to the side, arms to a T. Thigh bone vertical. Tilt, place your hand on the mat, hand behind head. Top foot is flexed, hip height. It kicks forward twice and sweeps back. Kick forward twice and sweep, reach back. Kick kick, sweep and reach, kick, kick, sweep and reach. The whole time your hips are pressing forward, do about six to eight of these. Reach your top arm up, try to balance, bring the knee to the mat, reach your other leg to the side, tilt your T position, lift the leg up, top hand behind head, same thing. Kick, kick and sweep back. So the angle that you see me at, and maybe I am doing this anyways, my leg appears to be higher than my hip. Uh, Keep it the same height as your hip. So I just don't know if that's the angle or if that's something I'm actually doing. Okay, bring the knee down. All right, and then we'll prepare for side bend. So your knees are bent. Your hand is placed far away from the mat and you're gonna lift up to a side plank, then bend up and over your arm, lower to side plank. Open the chest, return side plank, and then lift the hips and peek through, thread the needle. Return all the way back to side plank. Bend over your arm, side bend. Open the chest slightly to ceiling. Lift the hips, pike, take a peek underneath your armpit. Return to side plank. One last time, lift up and over, stretch. Open the chest, hips stay still. Pike, lift your hips up, peek under the armpit, and then lower everything back down to the mat. Swing legs over to the other side. Okay, so place your hand in line with your hip joint far away. Lift to side plank, then you side bend, return, open the chest, return, peek, reach, look underneath your armpit, return to side plank. So again, you're gonna lift up and over that arm. Open the chest, don't move the hips. Then lift the hips, peak. 
And one more time. Side bend up and over. Push your hips up to the ceiling. Open slightly with that chest. And then peek. And then return. Lower everything to the mat. So we just have a few more. We're almost there. Just a couple more minutes. A couple more exercises. Boomerang. Cross one ankle over the other. Hands by your thighs. Round your spine forward. Push into the hands. Legs lift. And you go up and over. Switch the ankle that's on top. Start to roll down. Pass through teaser. Hook your thumbs. Lower your body in that shape. Circle your arms around to start again. So push into your arms. Legs go up and over. Switch the ankle on top. Start to roll down. Now I will actually pass through teaser this time. Circle your arms, hook your thumbs behind your back and try to maintain that shape. Circle arms around, hands by thighs. Legs go up and over. Switch ankle that's on top. Start to roll down. Pass through teaser. Circle arms, hook thumbs. Stay in that shape as you bring the legs all the way down. And then one more time. Leg switch that's on top. Rolling, rolling. Find that teaser position. Circle the arms, hook the thumbs. Come all the way forward. Oh, all right, seal. Okay, so you're gonna bring your feet to a V, dive your arms through, grab your ankles, clap three times, roll back, clap three times. So you actually want to start to roll up sooner than you want to, basically right away. And this exercise always seems super silly and takes coming to join me and it's all fine and it's all good. Rocking is next. You're gonna come onto your stomach. Now I'm not able to get into the full position. Um, I had knee injury last year, so I will cue you, but if you can go further, that's great. The trick with this is always push your hands into your feet. So you're gonna bend your knees, you're gonna reach back and grab the fronts of your feet Move towards the ankles as much as you can legs stay together you're gonna to roll your chest open push the hip bones down into the mat start to lift yourself up by pushing your feet into your hands okay, that's what's most important turn the head lower down and again push the feet into the hands to lift the chest and lower and you'll notice my thigh bones are lifting off the mat that's what you want do that one more time and then release lower down Okay, push yourself all the way up. Okay. All the way down. Control balance. So your legs are gonna go up and over. And then you're gonna swing your arms around. We get two chances because I screw up. You grab one ankle, you lift the other leg up to the ceiling. Then you're gonna bring your top leg down first grab your ankle, switch, and then again, top leg comes down first, grab your ankle and switch. So if you feel like me, you can reset. So what's important is the top leg comes down first. Circle, grab your ankles, press your top leg backwards, bring it down, switch. So you always wanna keep this tensegrity, this tension between the legs as you do this. You know, use your elbows and your upper arm bones as a slight kickstand. Keep space between the neck, the chin, and the chest. Okay, again, this is totally one you can skip over. Once you're even, you bring both legs up to the ceiling, circle your arms around, and roll up. One last exercise, push up. Hands underneath shoulders, feet hip distance. You're gonna bend your elbows narrow for three, two, one, press. Again, three, two, one, push. Last time. Now, tuck the tail, pike the hips, look at the pubic bone and walk your hands to your feet four times. Keep your arms by your ears and lift your arms to the ceiling as you roll up. Dive down. Keep looking at your pubic bone as you walk your hands out four times to get back to your push-up position. Bend your elbows for three and lift. And press lift. Tuck chin to chest. Walking back. Drop heels. Roll up. And one more time. 
Okay, so of course you can modify your push-up any way that suits you. You can bring the knees down and press lift. Three, two, one. We want it to be a narrow elbow push-up, a little bit more challenging. Tuck, walking back, and then slowly start to roll up. All right, and that's it. It's done. I hope you enjoyed. Those are the little, you know, 34 exercises. I definitely broke a sweat. Jake is gonna give me a high five. Yeah. Thanks for watching.